Oh, look, 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 look right here. This is a mule. Uh, that's Les Clancy. He's the tall one there. And, and not just an ordinary mule, as though there's any such thing as that. You're part of something called Ozark Mule Days. Yes, sir. But this this is like a super mule, isn't it? Uh, she is. She's uh, been to a lot of states. We've won several states jumping. She's never lost. Oh, wait, now so. you said you've won several states jumping. Yes. This is one of the famous jumping mules that she's, we hear about in the Ozarks. She's pretty famous. She's been to Texas, Illinois, Arkansas, Iowa, Kansas, Shawnee, here, Missouri. She's won the state fair. Um, knock on wood, she's not ever lost. So her day will come, but for now, she's a pretty amazing mule. What is Mule Days all about? Like, well, who, who is this right for? Who shows up at this deal? Right now, we have about 32 states that are going to represent, and we've got four trailers coming out of Canada. Um, we've absolutely sold out the fairgrounds at uh, Springfield, and uh, you're going to see about 315 mules, anything from a $250 sale barn mule to a $50,000, $60,000 mule showing for the world points here in Springfield. Oh, you know, my. You know, the mules are state animal, and we're yep. just trying to promote it and, and, and represent it here, and we've been going on for about 37 years, and this is our 15th year here in Springfield. Okay, now, now you, you were jumping mules. For, for folks who aren't aware, explain what a jumping mule is. Well, back in the days, you know, coon hunting and hunting and everything, you come to a fence, you'd take off a piece of material and lay it across the, uh, the fence, and you'd just jump over the fence. And so it got to be a competition who had the, uh, the best jumping mule. Uh -huh. And so it's just really evolved over the past, you know, 20, 25 years, and it's kind of a bragging rights. You know, I think I have the Michael Jordan of all mules right here. <laughs> uh, so, you know, and she's got her days. She may not jump at all, but uh, there's days. Well, they're mules. <laughs> they're mules. They're smart, and sometimes they don't want to do it. But most generally, she can jump way over my head flat-footed. You're kidding me. No. Um, I've had her everywhere. She's, uh, she's a pretty exceptional mule. Okay, is this genetic, or is it something that you have to train this mule to be able to do? Good question. A little of both. You know, you uh -huh. have to have a good anything, want any kind of animal have good breeding, but then also good training, good taking care of them. And, and we do, we treat them like athletes. You know, they have workouts. She has a treadmill at home. I really? put it on a big really? treadmill. And so, uh -huh. but you know, to the show on you know Saturday here next uh -huh. weekend, you're gonna see some of the best jumping mules. We'll even have a world champion. They won the world. So he's coming to beat me. So uh, I, I hope to see him. So, oh, he's uh, coming to finish second is he, what you're saying. Oh. You bet, he'll that get is, second. Yeah, is this it. a dangerous thing? Oh, no, ma'am. It's It takes about four pounds of pressure to break that and it drops off. It's very oh, safe, okay. very, very safe. And so uh, we do everything we can to make them, you know, safe and comfortable. But uh, you'll see everything from Western Pleasure to gated to Pasifino to hunter jumper seat. You'll see gated mules, barrel poles, wagon racing, everything um, yeah. at the fairgrounds. It's pretty, pretty exciting. Do you think that people realize how smart mules really are? No, because, you know, the old saying is, you know, they were pretty stubborn and dumb. But, you know, realistically, in like, you know, uh, the Grand Canyon, horses aren't allowed. They only mm -hmm. allow mules. In Louisiana, everywhere it's hot and, you know, a mule's accommodated because they're out of a donkey. Right. Um, so they're very, very smart, very hardy. So a lot of times when they quit, they quit because they're they're done. I mean, they know not to go they anymore. Know. They know. Um, so a lot of people call that stubbornness, but it's really not. It's very small. Okay, so I tell you we, what. Why you want to see some jumping? Yeah. Why don't Why don't we do that? Now we're going to move over there, yeah, right? Yeah. Move right over there. And, okay. And, we'll and, move over there, and, and you 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 put him through his and, paces and there. And she's just like any athlete. You know, she likes to get you know get a little excited about it. So uh -huh. I'll just take her out here. And And she really likes to jump. Oh, yeah? Yep. Hey, get up there. Oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> so you know, we're, we're low. We're only teasing you. Yeah. But in all reality, we have jumped to the complete height of this. Now, you know, I've heard training methods it's like when they go over a very low bar, you reward them, and then you, you can start raising it up. You do. You reward them. She likes it. I mean, she's she's a very very personable mule. She, uh, you know, she listens to us very well. Lay down. Lay down. So I would keep eating grass too. I would too. Oh look Bang. at this. <laughs> So that's okay, kind of I've got that's kind of her is, reward. Is, can yeah. I give her another reward? Give her right one. Her reward. She Come loves here. to lay down an itch. Come here. Let's let's see if you like this though. No, nah, see she's in. Whoops. She here. here. Let's try this. Would you like an apple? Oh, you bet you'd like an apple. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Tell them again when this, you know, when folks can come and see the jumping mules and all the different mules that are going to be it's, out. There. It's Labor Day weekend. It's three days long. Um, you're going to see some of the best mules and donkeys in the world. Um, 
they compete for points in the world uh, and everything. So it's a, it's an awesome time. That sounds great. Sounds great. So every <laughs> it's just relaxing. I really like this. Jumps over a fence and then you can take a nap. Yeah. Would you like to jump again? We can. Yeah. Good All right. Yeah. All, right. All you, you do is you I'm just ask. Get her. out of the way I'm again. Out of the just way. ask her. Step up. Step up. Oh yeah. Is that Sadie? Yep. I believe it is Sadie. Oh, I thought it was Shannon. I'm sorry. Okay, Sadie. Hey, hey, hey. hey. We had to do it usually on the third time. Hey, get up. All right. Nice job. <laughs> she got a little hand. How old hand. is she? She's 11 years old. 11 years old. I didn't know if you had said that or not. 11 yep. years old. They can't have those bushes though. <laughs> She's probably looking for another apple. Uh, you know what? I think, I think oh, you can hey. actually have an apple. Look. You know what? You earned it, girl. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> See, you get everything on Ozarks. Like, you hey, betcha. Thank you so much. You betcha. I appreciate great. you guys having me. And so. And again, this thank happens you. Labor Day, Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Just uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. Um, it's a great family entertainment. If you're looking for something that's fun and, and exciting, come and out to Ozark. Where? Where's Ozark Empire Fairgrounds. Ozark Empire so. Fairgrounds. Good All right. stuff. All right. Thank you so much All for right. coming on. Sadie, you did a marvelous job. Thank you. She got two you apples, so, so she's happy. Yeah. She, I would be happy too. I couldn't even do that. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no way. We Maybe not, for an apple. We would not I don't want know. you to. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Everybody. Thanks, everybody. Live. We'll see you back here tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. Bye bye.